What's up, freaks? Steve Becker here with Steve Says episode number 83. It's going to get a quick chug of the water. That's, this is the kind of water bottle you should have, first of all. Mag pouches on there, room for your extra gear, for whatever else. Because you never know when you need an extra mag for your AR-15. All right, anyway, let's get rolling. This is Steve Says, episode number 83. There's the first lesson of the day. Stay freaking hydrated. You need to stay hydrated. Episode number 83 today. We're going to go over one simple thing you can start doing right now. One simple free thing you can start doing right now to guarantee a successful 2021. I guarantee you start doing this right now. Anyone in the world could do it. It doesn't take any practice. Well, some people it takes a little practice, but we're going to get into all that. Steve says, as you know, is always about things that you need to hear. Not even necessarily what you want to hear, but things that you need to hear. And some people will hate, but most can relate. So if you're here watching this live, just put a comment down below. If you're watching it live, if you're watching the replay, put replay. But also I want you to type down in the comments, I can relate. Because you can relate to people being real. To people bringing the fucking fire every second of every second. And this week, I'm, I'm going to talk to you about some things that, and, and ask you, are you willing to do this one free, simple thing that anyone can start doing right now, this minute, to start your success now, to increase your probability of success now, not even having to wait to the, uh, a new fucking year because some ball drops out of the sky to tell you to start making changes, start doing shit a little differently, and start improving yourself. And then you need to ask yourself, do you need to practice this simple strategy? And the answer is probably yes, most of us do. And I'll give you a second to get on here. I've got several screens on here. I'm going to try and see the comments as you're going, as we're rolling along. But Steve says each week is a live show on how to have a no excuses, badass mindset guiding you to adapt, overcome, and destroy the obstacles that are preventing you from your reaching that next level in your health, your family, your finances, so that you could stop being a little bitch and get your shit together and start living life on your own freaking terms. It's all about MBB, mind, body, business. That's what we're talking about. And having a role model mindset. How to operate with discipline, energy, confidence, and taking action to be your freak self. That's what this is all about. And this week, if you have any questions, comments, put them down below. Jump in the conversation. Want to hear what you have to say about it. But like the video, share it with your freak friends that are in need of some real talking. Maybe in need of that little fire lit under their ass or a little boot in the ass to wake them up and and I'm guarantee you once you hear this simple strategy you're gonna want to tag some friends in here that need to fucking hear this because I guarantee there's a lot of people that need to hear this all right so we are talking about there's this I want to start with a saying it's from an old Greek philosopher he says it's better it's from Zeno he says it's better to trip with the feet than the tongue so the the key and I'm gonna give you the key Point right now, literally right after I tell you these two simple words, we can pretty much end the video. But we're going to take it a little step further because we want to go deep and granular to, to drive home this point. But again, better a trip with the feet than the tongue. Think about that. There's also another saying from Greek philosophy from Epictetus that, that, that says, don't ex explain your philosophy, embody it. But the one we're talking about today about don't better a trip with the feet than the tongue means Fuck up by trying stuff, not just by talking about it. So today, I'm going to break this down to you right away. This is a very simple tactic and strategy that I guarantee you and most people you know. And once you hear what it is, we're going to go deep into it. It'll have, give you time to go go tag your friends in this who need to fucking hear this. Or your enemies that need to fucking hear this. Or your coworkers or your family members, maybe your parents. Two words. Of course, I'll add a third one in there because we like to add in our F-bombs. Two words, a simple strategy you can start right now. We're going to go deep into it about how you can do that, how, how you should do this, and, and approach this simple strategy. Are you ready for it? This is going to be some deep, scientific, groundbreaking shit right now. And I'm going to give you the, the answer to the, to, the, to the test here before we even fucking start. It's like we're on Jeopardy here. Two words. Shut the fuck up. Okay, that's more than two, but I'd like to add the fuck in there. Shut up. That's the words. Those are the words that are going to serve you the most going into this new year. And I'm going to go in. We're not just saying just shut up as in don't talk. We're going to go deep into this. But you need to shut the fuck up and sit the fuck down sometimes. Shut up when it, when, when it comes to 
politics or, or social media and people arguing for, you see it, like comments, hundreds and hundreds of comments and hours worth of comments and, and arguing on the fucking internet behind their keyboard with, with strangers or even people, you even worse, with people you know, that's really even worse, arguing about whatever it is, or whether you should wear a mask or not wear a mask, a president and politics and all this other bullshit, sitting there arguing for hours. And then when it comes down to it, you'll say you don't have time, enough time of the day to go play with your kids, take them to the park because you're too tired and exhausted and mentally drained and all this other shit, all these other bullshit excuses you'll make. Or you'll, you, you won't have time to go to the gym, but you'll have time to scroll and, and comment for hours and hours about a fucking face diaper that you want to or don't want to wear for whatever your reason. I don't give a shit what you want to do. Whatever, do whatever the fuck you do. whatever you want to do. It doesn't matter, but you need to realize that's the two key words. And I'm going to keep repeating it for anyone that's joining is shut up. Shut up when it comes to, to babbling on the internet about a bunch of bullshit. Even shut up about some motivational mumbo jumbo on the internet if you're not freaking living it and not showing it. You're not embodying it. That's why we started off with don't explain your philosophy, embody it. From thousands of years ago from a dude wearing a fucking robe and sandals that said that. Shut up when it comes to complaining about your, your kids are stuck at home and they're driving you crazy. Shut up. They're your kids. Like, what do you, what do you want to do? They're fucking your kids. You made them. Shut up. Shut up. Then you also need to shut your brain up sometimes. When you start conjuring up all these ideas, the idea fair, you see all these golden shiny objects around you think you want to go do and pursue, and you start dabbling in this and dabbling in that and start working on this and touching this. Meanwhile, you're getting jack shit done. Because you're just spread out in all these different directions with zero laser beam focus on anything, rather than cutting out, shutting up all that bullshit, shutting up all those brilliant ideas you think you have in your head, and some of them might be good ideas, go write them down, write them down in a notebook. Figure out what the top one priority is, and then shut the fuck up on the rest of them until it's their turn. Sh shut your emotions up, because your emotions are going to override everything else. Your emotions are getting the first say in everything that happens. You need to shut up your emotions. You need to shut your brain up with all this chaos and, and the stupid ideas it's giving you. Shut your emotions up, which are, the, are, are the, the first thing that are getting touched in every situation you're in. And if you let that shit run wild, you're done. So you need to shut up the emotions. Shut up the brain. Shut up that inner bitch that's inside of you that you negotiate with every morning. It starts from the first thing in the morning. You're under those nice, warm covers. The alarm goes off. You can stay in there. You might not have any appointments for a couple hours. You can stay there. That inner bitch starts negotiating with you, stay under the covers. Stay in there for 30 more minutes. Don't get up. That's your inner bitch. You need to sh tell the inner bitch to shut the fuck up. That's what you need to do. That, that quitter voice that's in your head. And I'm telling you, we all have it. We all have it. I'm not saying I don't have that. I, I have that inner bitch in here like a motherfucker. I have that, even that quitter voice. Everyone has that quitter voice. I was running with, with Tyson the other day. Our legs were crazy sore. We were doing some crazy training sessions. Knee was like tweaked. Everything was just sore. Arms were sore. We were just going crazy overboard. Went for a three mile run. I think we did three mile. Three mile run. So it's 14 laps around the, this park we had. After literally the first fucking lap, knee starts tweaking, hobbling, already out of breath. Like, what the fuck? Something's off today. Not feeling it today. It's going to pack it up and go home. Fuck that. We're going to suffer for the last 13 laps to get around there. Tell that inner bitch, that quitter voice, and we all have it. No matter who you are, whatever you try to claim, we all have that inner bitch. No matter how Billy really badass you think you are, you have that inner bitch that constantly tries to creep up, tells you to stay in fucking bed of the worn covers, tells you to stop running after the first lap because shit's going to be hard and it's going to fucking suck for the next 13 laps or whatever the fuck you're doing, it's going to suck. We all have that inner bitch an inner quitter voice. So you need to tell it to shut the fuck up. Shut up. It's so simple. Those two words are going to serve you the most. The rest of these, these last few days of this year, you can start from this moment. It's going to serve you going into 2021 and all this other stuff. You know who else? What else needs to shut up? You need to shut your parents up. Shut your previous teachers up. Or whoever tried to, to slow you down and tell you to live life according to the way they wanted life to be led. The way they thought you should live your life. They need to shut up. You need to shut them up from invading your mental space is what you need to do. You need to shut that, that story 
that you've drilled into your own head, that you tell yourself about who you are and what you're meant to do and what you're capable of, those limiting beliefs of that cap and ceiling you put on yourself, you need to shut that shit up. And the way you do this, the way you gain contentment, now not complacency, there's a difference between complacency and being content. And complacency is just slipping up, fucking up, thinking things are good and you're cruising and get lazy and shit just starts to crumble. We're talking about get, being coming content. Shutting all that shit up so you can become content. Now content doesn't mean that you think life is good enough. It just means that, all right, this is what I have. This is who I am. This is where I am. And I'm good with that. You can still be striving for more and looking to excel in all different areas of life and want to make more money and get in better shape and strengthen your relationships. But you could still be content and still want to do all that shit and still want to improve all those areas. That doesn't mean you're not content because you want to improve. Just because you want to make more money doesn't mean you're not content with where you are. And the only way to be content is to, first of all, shut the fuck up. All those things I just mentioned. Shut them up. They have to shut up. And it all starts, and you hear it all the time, but everyone talks about it. Everyone talks about this stuff. You see it on the internet, but they're talking. They're just fucking babbling. They're not really doing it or living it or talking about how to do it. Is gratitude. Having gratitude. Being grateful for what the fuck you have right now. Still being hungry as a motherfucker to get to that next level in all areas of life. But having gratitude. And having that gratitude too is going to lead to humility. And you can't tell yourself to shut the fuck up. You can't tell your brain to shut up. You can't tell your parents to shut up. You can't tell whoever else to shut up if you're not humble. Because it starts with yourself. Shutting up yourself. With all that bullshit stories you keep telling yourself in your head. And that takes a lot of humility to do. So it takes gratitude and humility to get to that level of contentment that you want to get to. And it all starts, all that, that whole trickle effect starts with shutting up. Shut your fucking pie hole. So that you can have some gratitude and have some humility so you can be content with where you are. So once you're content with where you are and you're still staying hungry, you're going to retrain your brain. Retrain your brain to shut the fuck up, to listen and learn. Commit to a lifelong le- long learning. Have, a, have that white belt mentality that we talk about. Always fucking learning. Learn something new from everyone you meet. Not thinking you're a fucking know-it-all. Oh, I already know that. Oh, I know that. Oh, I went over that already. Oh, yeah, I already talked about that a week ago. Sh- oh, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Who cares? You can hear a, a comment or a quote. Not, hey, you tell someone a quote. And I've caught myself doing it. And then I tell myself, shut the fuck up. Where someone tells you something. Maybe they tell you a quote. They tell you a joke. They tell you a story. Maybe you've been watching an hour-long speech of someone performing. And you're like, oh, I've seen that already. Oh, I already know that. Oh, I heard that joke already. Oh, I just told that joke to someone the other day. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. That's what we're talking about. About humility. Like, you don't have to be a fucking know-it-all. Remember, don't explain your philosophy. Embody it. Shut up. Listen. The other saying, you have two, what is it? Two ears and one mouth. Use them accordingly. Basically, that's saying, that was the old-fashioned, politically correct, robe-wearing way of saying, shut the fuck up. That's what that was. Because listen, if you're not, don't have the ability to shut up and have have the the self-awareness to know when to shut the fuck up, you will not be, you'll be incapable of building any relationships in your personal life, in your professional life, you'll be incapable if you're not going to shut the fuck up. You'll be capable of being successful in sales, in making money. If you don't learn to shut up. I know you're probably telling me right now, hey, 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 why don't you shut up? You're probably telling me to shut up. But I'll shut up after this fucking video and I'll get back to cracking it, back to work. But you need to be able to listen, to learn. The number one trait or skill you can have when it comes to sales or making money. You know what it is? Shutting the fuck up. Listening. Listening to what are the problems out there. And they're not even problems. They're just situations. Situations that need someone to shut the fuck up and FIO figure it out. So shut up, listen, and learn, and you'll be able to build those relationships. You'll be able to build your finances. You'll be able to build, grow, and, and improve, and make even better in your family. You'll be even better, even better husband, wife, or a fucking goat lover, or whatever the fuck it is you do. And you'll be able to build those strong relationships, which you won't be able to do if you don't first shut the fuck up. And trust me, I know that I need, I, and that's why I write this stuff. I think about, all right, what do I need to work on sometimes? I need to shut the fuck up sometimes. I need to shut the fuck up a lot of times. 
and you let it slip out because you don't you lose control of your you don't shut the fuck up in your emotions and you don't shut the fuck up in your brain you, and shit vomits out and you start coming out of your fucking pie hole. Just shut it, shut it. Because you know what? Words are just fucking words. Philosophy is just fucking philosophy. Theory is just theory. Even leadership. Everyone preaches leadership, leadership, leadership. Everyone preaches leadership and gratitude and humility, right? It's all bullshit. It's all fucking words. Strategy, a plan, have a plan, have a plan, a strategy. A plan, a strategy is fucking garbage. If you're just babbling, shut the fuck up, execute the plan, shut the fuck up, actually figure out what the strategy is going to be and implement the strategy. Implement like a motherfucker. Again, even leadership, it's just an idea. Teamwork, it's just an ideal. Communication is just a thought. Until you shut the fuck up and get to freaking work. All little fancy internet captions and, and pictures people put out there and quotes and all this other bullshit. Listen. Bitches talk. Real people, real, real people, real men and women talk with their fucking feet. Set the way, live the way, and enforce the fucking way. Set the example, live the example, enforce the fucking example. That's what you need to be thinking about doing it. By shutting up. Shut, I'm telling you, it's so simple. I'm and you're going to be realizing, holy shit, I need to shut the fuck up. I talk too much. I think I know it all. I cut people. I can't stand it. P people that cut you off when you're talking. Just a know-it-all. Especially if someone will ask you a question, you start answering, and they'll cut you off and tell you what your answer should be to them. Like, shut the fuck up! You're not going to get anywhere. You're not going to build any relationships that way. You're not going to be successful in a new year. You're going to be the same miserable prick you already were. You need to just shut up. Be a man. And whatever. I'm going to say man. I'm not, I don't need to say a man or a woman every time. Be a man of freaking action. Be a, a fucking human of fire, on fire, bringing the fucking fire every second of every second. Quit the freaking babbling. Shut up. If you don't like where you are in your life, stop flapping your gums and do something about it. Make a bold move. Take a, a, a big, crazy, scary risk. At least dig yourself in a fucking hole with your actions. At least make an attempt trying to make shit happen. Not just talking shit from the sidelines about the way it should be done and the way you could do it, but you're just not doing it because of this, 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 and other bullshit. That's why it says no excuses around my fucking forearm so I never forget it. Get the damn bat off your shoulder and take a fucking swing. No more talking about what you're going to do or what you used to do or what you, what, what you could do better than what's already out there. It's easy to talk shit about doing it. But those taking the risks, those creating shit, you know what they did? They shut the fuck up. They shut the fuck up and they got to work. They did the work. They weren't afraid of the hard work. They weren't afraid of the failure. They weren't afraid of looking stupid. A lot of times people just talk and yap because it's going to prevent them, they think, from looking stupid. But most of the time, the more you talk, the more you give yourself a chance to look like a fucking idiot. Don't, don't talk about what you're doing. Talk about what you're doing with your fucking actions. Talk about what you're capable of by... Actually making a fucking impact and doing something. Making an impact on this fucking rock of ours that's spinning around. Make it spin just a little bit better for a fucking day. You think babbling on the fucking internet, slamming your little keyboard, talking shit about people because they have different fucking thoughts or beliefs in you? You're both fucking idiots if you're just babbling about it. And you're both wrong for just wasting your fucking time. It's better to fail in the freaking trenches than from your couch or from your, your fucking keyboard. Shut up. So simple. So brilliant, right? You came here for this brilliance of just shut up. Shut up. It's time to step up your game. It's time to level up and transform and be freaking reborn. If, if, if what you're doing right now is not working in your life, shut up. Listen. Learn. Stop thinking you fucking know it all. Get some coaching, get some guidance, get some direction, get someone to hold you accountable. Stop thinking you have all the answers. Stop thinking you know it all. Stop thinking you're better at every fucking thing you do than everyone. When well, you probably don't know shit. Shut up. Because the skills and the skills that got you and the traits that got you to where you are right now are not going to be adequate to get you to where you think you want to go. To that level you want to get to that next level. They're just not going to get you there. 
if you just think you know it all, and think you're just going to use the skills you've already learned to get you wherever you're going, you're going to be stuck in the same fucking place the whole time, bitching and complaining about it the whole time. Bitching and complaining about being stuck in your house. Bitching and complaining about your kids running around the house. Like, damn, shut up. Shut up. Be a better role model then. Fucking bitching about stuff. So either get off off your ass, take some action, make shit happen, or just sit the fuck down and shut the fuck up. Stop freaking talking. Stop talking about what you need, what you what you need to improve on, and about what failures you had and mistakes you made. Stop talking about what you could have done better in the past and living in the past. Stop talking about what you're gonna do in the future and living in the future. It's all bullshit. It's all fairy tale land. Stop talking about all your brilliant ideas and inventions and all this other shit that you're never gonna fucking do because you start shit and you don't follow through. Stop talking about the, the, the way things were, the way things are gonna be. Or how you're going to change. Stop talking about all the lessons that you've learned. Even lessons you've learned are useless. If you don't use those lessons. And just shut it all down. Shut it up and actually flip the script. And rewrite the next chapter. Just learning lessons. Useless. It's fucking knowledge. Any knowledge you gain or wisdom you gain or lesson you learn. And you don't implement it like a motherfucker with it. And make an impact and actually pay it forward and teach someone else or use it. To, for, to your advantage, to good, for good. It's just knowledge. It's just being held prisoner in your own fucking head. It's useless. It's useless. Stop talking. Stop thinking. Just get the fuck up and do it. Improve it. Do it better. Do it better. Do it different. Do it today. Make, make the change. Get in the game. Put it into play. Make the fucking move. Just shut up. Just shut the fuck up. Stop talking and get on the field. Get in the game. Get into the fight. Start scrapping and scratching and scraping and clawing. Let your fucking fangs out and attack. Bring the fucking fight to the fight. Fuck talking. Do. Fuck thinking. Do. Fuck trying. Do. That's what you need to think about it. So simple. Two words. For 2021, I want you to freaking implement. And watch where it's going to take you. Shut up. Shut up. That's going to cause you to listen. It's going to cause you to learn. It's going to cause you to have gratitude. It's going to cause you to have humility. And it's going to give you contentment to then actually make moves and take action and do what you're supposed to be doing. And if you need a little help in the shutting up area, in the humility area, in the contentment area, I have something for you. A couple things for you. Number one is the project. It's a personal development program for men that's coming up. February and April are our classes. February is pretty much sold out. April is about 70% sold out. If you need to learn how to transmit and receive feedback, learn how to be forced to shut the fuck up by your peers, by your superiors, the project is for you. If you know you need to level up in those areas, let's talk about the project. There's also the Squire program, which is for you and your teen son. For, for If you have a teen son, 13 to 15, the Squire program is coming up January 16th. Here in Southern California, it's a full day event, about 12, 15 hours event all day where you literally uh, uh, bond with your son connection, kind of going through the rite of passage to, to teach and show your son to finally shut up because you're going to be going through this shit with him. Not just telling him what a man should be, not just telling him how to work hard, how to figure shit out, how to be a leader, how to work as a team, but you're going to be actually forced to do it with your son. So Shut up in that case. Shut up and get on the field and do it with your son. Imagine that experience. That'll be something you and your son will never forget. That's the Squire program coming up January 16th. Or if you just need one-on-one -on -one private peak performance accountability coaching in your mind, your body, and your business, send me a message. We can talk about that. And of course, also always the Peak Physique online virtual boot camp boxing sessions always available seven days per week, live training sessions every day. If you need some help, with getting in the best shape of your life, with weight loss, let's let's talk about that. And tomorrow, tomorrow, yes, tomorrow live will be episode number two, the year-end edition of The Russian and the Freak, where we will be live at whatever time. I got to put the post down there about my look at the schedule. We are live tomorrow, The Russian and the Freak, episode number two, how to finish off this year strong as a family, as a business and go into the next year so you can operate to fucking dominate. And all of that stuff, bonding with your kids, 
becoming a better husband, better father, better man, better leader, having accountability, all that stuff, having gratitude, having humility, being content, listening and learning, all requires you, for the two magic fucking words of 2021, shut the fuck up. I will talk to you later. Put a message down below if you have any questions, comments, anything to jump in the discussion or to send me a private message about all those different programs I talked about, the project, the squire, private coaching, the peak physique, tomorrow the rest of the freak show. I will talk to you later. You are fucking awesome. No excuses. Mm-hmm.